From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Cancer is a type of disease where cells grow out of control, divide and invade other tissues. With cancer, the normal process of cell division goes out of control. Cells change their nature because mutations have occurred in their genes. All the daughter cells of cancer cells are also cancerous. Let us get to know about skin cancer. Skin cancer. There are three major types of skin cancers, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma and melanoma. The first two skin cancers are grouped together as non-melanoma skin cancers. Symptoms of skin cancer, non-melanoma. The main symptom of non-melanoma skin cancer is the appearance of a lump or discolored patch on the skin that doesn't heal. Basal cell carcinoma. BCC usually appears as a small red or pink lump, although it can be pearly white or waxy looking. It can also look like a red scaly patch. The lump slowly grows and may become crusty, bleed or develop into a painless ulcer. Squamous cell carcinoma. SCC appears as a firm pink lump and may have a flat, scaly and crusted surface. The lump is often tender to touch, bleeds easily and may develop into an ulcer. Bowen disease. Bowen disease is a very early form of skin cancer. It develops slowly and easily treated. Possible signs and symptoms of melanoma. The ABCDE rule. It is another guide to the usual signs of melanoma. A is for asymmetry. One half of a mole or a birthmark does not match the other. B is for border. The edges are irregular, ragged, notched, or blurred. C is for color. The color is not the same all over and may include shades of brown and black, or sometimes with patches of pink, red, white, or blue. D is for diameter. The spot is larger than 6 mm across, although melanomas can sometimes be smaller than this. E is for evolving. The mole is changing in size, shape, or color. Some melanomas do not fit the rules described above. Other warning signs are a sword that does not heal, spread of pigment from the border of a spot into surrounding skin, redness or a new swelling beyond the border, itchiness, tenderness or pain, change in the surface of a mold, scaliness, oozing, bleeding. Causes of skin cancer Most skin cancer is caused by ultraviolet light damaging the DNA in skin cells. The main source of UV light is sunlight. Types of UV light, ultraviolet A, ultraviolet B, ultraviolet C. Increased risk. Certain factors are believed to increase chances of developing skin cancer, including pale skin that does not tan easily, blonde hair, blue eyes, older age, a large number of moles, a large number of freckles. A condition that suppresses your immune system such as HIV, past history of skin cancer, skin cancer in the family, radiation exposure, a weak immune system, human papilloma virus or HPV. Also exposure to chemicals like coal tar, soot, peach, petroleum products such as mineral oil or motor oil. Other skin conditions, psoriasis, solar keratosis, Gorlin syndrome, birthmarks. Diagnosis, medical history and physical exam. Usually the first step the doctor takes is to get a medical history. During the physical exam, your doctor will note the size, shape, color and texture of the area in question and whether they are bleeding, oozing or crusting. Skin biopsy, if the doctor thinks a spot might be a melanoma, a sample of skin will be removed from the suspicious area and sent to a lab to be looked at under a microscope. This is called a skin biopsy. Biopsies include shave biopsy, punch biopsy, incisional and excisional biopsy, fine needle aspiration biopsy, surgical lymph node biopsy, sentinel lymph node biopsy. Chest x-ray. This test may be done to help determine whether melanoma has spread to the lungs. Computed tomography scan. The CT scan uses X-rays to make detailed cross-sectional images of your body. Unlike a regular X-ray, CT scans can show the detail in soft tissues. CT guided needle biopsy. CT scans can also be used to help guide a biopsy needle into a suspicious area within the body. 
magnetic resonance imaging scan, like city scans, MRI scans give detailed images of soft tissues in the body, but MRI scans use radio waves and strong magnets instead of X-rays to create pictures. A contrast material might be injected just as with city scans. Positron emission tomography scan. A PET scan can help show if the cancer has spread to lymph nodes or other parts of the body. It is most useful in people with more advanced stages of cancer. Blood tests. Blood tests aren't used to diagnose melanoma, but some tests may be done before or during treatment, especially for more advanced melanomas. Thanks for watching. This is your host Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.